Hey everybody, welcome back to the Inhabit Mars channel. I uh, hope everybody's been doing well. Happy Father's Day to all your fathers out there. Uh, today, uh, I've just put up a quick video. <laughs> I busted this one out in like a day. Uh, I started on it yesterday morning and uh, knocked it out by last night and did the final finishing touches. This is a very quick model, but uh, I, I felt I had to do this because uh, Chris uh put up a video and of course there's boats in it and you know ever since my first video where we found that uh frame of a boat and other parts that look like uh more parts of a boat sitting there um i felt i had to do uh I, i've always looking for boats on mars and um so i had to do this one if you haven't checked out his video yet it's called structures parts and a ship slash craft and he posted this just a couple of days ago on the 17th very great video uh i really of course i had to jump on it quick i was like oh my goodness all right so um uh this is some of the stuff that he found i'm just going to go over his finds briefly i really encourage you to check out his video uh here's some stuff that he uh was looking at okay we have this um this is one part of the pan, and I'll put a link to the uh, pan on there uh, in the video description. But uh, we want to look at, uh, there's this cube that's right here in the center. And just to the left of that uh, is what looks like, um, well, it looks like a, a, a boat. And I'm, I'm going to show you why I think it is a boat. And then to the right of it, I think it's another boat. Uh, let's see and then i just wanted to point out this one right here and i'm going to go into this one in detail there's in this part of the image right here you can see where he circled this one in yellow and this was the one that he i think was calling a boat and i believe that it is and i believe that it is a uh cargo it's like a cargo vessel and there's actually a uh, container sitting on top to the left of this uh, is where they actually were obfuscating it. And this is probably the most blatant um, uh, evidence of obfuscation that we've seen. You can see parts of the boat sticking through this ground texture that's been put on it to the very left side of this boat. Just left of where a circle is coming back down. There's a ground texture put on, but you can still see the shape of the boat. And this is where he actually burned through it, and you can see the shape a little better. And so this was a, um, a blatant obfuscation right here to try to hide part of it. Why only part of it? I don't know, but that texture was definitely added afterward. Now, I just want to show you where Curiosity was on this Sol. So let's take a look at the map here. Now this is uh, um, Sol 3151, and this image was actually taken on 3147. So it's right still at this, if you look close, there's that ancient shoreline. In fact, I have a uh, zoomed in image here. And this is zoomed in now. And you can see that it's still right, the Curiosity is still right down towards the lower end of Mount Sharp, it's far from the top still, and it's still in an area where the ancient shoreline was. This is one layer where it receded, where the water was, when the, as the water was receding, um, that it left a shoreline there. And then you can actually see a second shoreline um, up and to the left of that, where it says Reuben Ridge. That's uh, where another shoreline, I believe, was uh, as the water kept receding downwards. So that's what uh, he discovered. And I'm going to get into this real quick because I'm trying to make these videos where they're not quite as long. So let's take a look here. Now, this is some of the work that I did on this one. And this is the same scene. We just took a piece, a little snippet of that uh, pan. And I'm going to go into this and... Let's see. Well, let's start over here to the right. Now, these are ones that he pointed out. 
uh, these two right here and let's move those up so you can see those now I'm not a hundred percent convinced that these are boats but I do believe that they are and I actually modeled them at the angle that you would be seeing them at I think those are also boats that were pushed up onto this ridge this little ridge that's right here and uh, these if these are boats this is the shape that they would have right here okay and uh, you're seeing it at that angle right there and you can see that ridge just barely see the definition in it and I tried everything to bring it out more and I really you know he's the master at it so I really can't bring out much more than that but that's what you're looking at and he pointed this out that this texture is probably not the actual texture of the objects they could be wood they could be anything if they are boats or they could just be some strange shaped rocks but if they are then these two rocks have the same shape and I'm going to show that and in fact this one over here is just it's not angled straight at you it's angled more to your left a little bit and then up just a little bit more than this one is but they're sitting buried on that hill all right so that's those and then um this is the one okay this was a boat that was sitting here and this one i want to go to these next and show you what we're looking at here and i couldn't get any more detail out of this but this if you look really hard you can see that this looks like a deck of a boat all right and then it actually has some sort of object on there i'm not sure um what that was but it seems to have this shape right here it could be a box could be anything but if that is a boat there then this would be the shape that it was uh showing through there okay now the next one is this one right here and this is the one w that he was talking about that he said definitely look like a boat now this is where that obfuscation is right here and you can see that this is a texture that they painted actually in two segments it looks like they were trying to bring this texture over that's one and then you can see the rest of the textures right here and the reason I believe this is obfuscated, this is not actual mud coming over the hill and over the top of this boat, is you could actually see, especially in his burn, you could see the uh, outline of the boat coming through it, all right? And it, and it follows that. And this is the shape that this one has right there. And I even put some containers on it because if you see, you can see these containers or something on the deck of this boat and you can actually see where the deck rises up in the back most of these boats uh, they're kind of like the ones on earth where the deck actually rises on the back if I get into this can you see it eh, not really uh, textures too dark but but I think you get the idea hopefully um, and then let's get over to this now let me take off the lighting is that going to help no not really it's actually better with the lighting okay this is what he was talking about here now there's actually a boat here and there's a boat behind this one and then you have this all right so let's move these out of the way and uh okay here's the outline of that boat that's sitting right here and it's buried halfway in the mud right there it's actually buried in the mud and I don't think that's obfuscation I think that's actually in the mud there because it actually follows the ridge line behind it and you can see where it just kind of everything just got pushed up on this hill this block right here I have no idea what this thing is um, or what it would be used for but it's it's got a cube like shape to it all right and it's actually beveled pretty good on top it's very smooth and then it's got this layer of mud where it looks like just mud just pushed 
over from the shoreline. And by the way, the shoreline is behind you. It's back here at the back of the photograph. We're looking, if I'm not mistaken, we're looking off the edge of Mount Sharp. Okay, the rover is coming up on this side. And you have the, the ridge line back there, and then it kind of slopes back down into the old lake bed. And so this object here, I don't know what this thing is, what it was used for, but it's got all this mud caked around it. All right. And then back here. Oh, well, that's right there, by the way. That's that. And you can see the, the, the mud hill that's actually caked up around it. You can see the edge of it here. And as it comes around to here, I'm just checking my time just to make sure. And then we have the sailboat. And this one looks like a sailboat. Um, I don't know if this is what's left of the sail that's, you know, just falling down on what's left of the mast but it seemed to have this shape and you can see that in the uh in the image behind it all right it comes up and it actually uh, you see that okay where it comes back and it has that kind of flat back to it where it comes down and this is sitting behind this object here if you look in our image here where I have this placed, this boat is sitting behind this, and it's almost uh, parallel to this boat here. And this object is farther towards you, towards the camera. Okay, and you can see all the space behind it. See how that comes behind it? This uh, part of the terrain right here. And this is all in front of that boat. And it comes down over it. And there was some more stuff. And he pointed out some more stuff in the image. And once again, I encourage you to watch his video. He did a really excellent job on this. And that's why I felt I needed to probably go ahead and model this and see it. Okay. Let's go to the model because I am, as usual, running out of time. All right. So this is our model here. And this is just a quick model. The terrain is not going to be exactly right, although I did try to model it as it was sloping off uh, in the image. But I just want to, well, it helps if I click on something here. Let's click on something. There we go. Okay. So I just want to show you how some of this stuff is placed in there. Now, I probably should have put a little more space in between here because I think there was more space. But just between the sailboat and this object here, there's at least this much space. Okay. And I believe that probably I should have moved him probably to about here. I'm thinking that's probably where it's located. But I don't know for sure how much space is in there. But I know that there is uh, terrain that goes behind it. Okay. And um, here's our sailboat here. And we'll take a look at that. And he's kind of buried in the mud. Although not as much as, uh, as this other boat over here. This one over here was uh, pretty well buried in it. I mean, it's it's about halfway, oh, a little less than halfway buried in the mud. All right. And that's that. Now, this is that tanker that was obfuscated in the image. This whole front area was obfuscated. Uh, but he was able to bring out the lines. And actually, I was too, uh, although the image I showed you was his um, image of it. And this whole area from about here was obfuscated and a ground texture was placed on it but when he did his burn you could see the lines of the front of this boat uh, through that uh, at least most of it and then about somewhere around here is where it was 
actually in the mud. Okay. And then there was this one that was right here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that I have this one right, but it's pretty close as far as the basic shape. And once again, I don't know what this was on top. I just modeled it as a, a wooden box because I wasn't sure. So, but there was definitely something on this back part of this boat that was very interesting. And, uh, well, I'm cutting, clipping through my other boat, but this seems to be the shape. Now, these are the two over here that I'm not 100% sure these are boats, but if they are, okay, they're actually pushed up at angles as if they came over the ridge. And my ridge line ends here. If I would have realized I was going to be working this far back to do this, I probably would have made more terrain, but... Hopefully, this gives you an idea. But this is kind of what these would look like. And I have no idea. I'm just guessing on the back side of these boats. But if you look at it from here, this would have that shape uh, that those rocks had. And, um, and like I say, you can just barely make out the definition of that beam right there on the front of these. And now, by the way, um, this boat that was on the right is farther forward, so it's closer to you in that image. And if I have time, which I think I will, once I show you this one, this is just the same as that one. I just modeled it the same because it looks pretty much the same, and you're looking at it from this angle right here. And so since we have time, I just want to show you back in the image um, just so you can see the angle. And I have these at the same angle. And so if I take these, and let's move them down this time so you can get a better idea. Now, can you see that vertical beam on this one? It's, it's hard to see, but if you look, you can see how the texture is different going this way than on the sides of, the, of it. Just barely. So hard to make out. If you try to get in any closer, it just breaks up on you. And same thing here. And just barely see it in there. And that one's sitting, you know, at an angle like this. Um, in fact, both of them are kind of at the same angle, although this one is turned on the Z axis just a little more. But that's it. I just wanted to to show you real quick what that looks like and what we're looking at in there. And it may not be boats. But, damn, it's amazing how all these shapes seem to uh, um, look like boats to me. Maybe I'm just seeing boats. But, uh, once again, whatever this object is, I have no idea. But this is kind of what it looked like and how the mud got pushed. When this thing got pushed, I guess it was just dragging the mud with it. I don't know. So... All right, well, that's it for this one, and I'm going to get back to the moon video very soon. Uh, you guys have a great day. Have a happy Father's Day, and I hope uh, hope everything's going well for everyone. And don't forget to check out Chris's video. Hopefully, you made it to the live chat. I've missed a few live chats the last three in a row, so I made this last Friday's one, and it was a great uh, time, of course. And so we hope that uh, everyone's doing well. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.